them. Okay guys, so today I got my awesome friend Python VS here. He has basically every gun that I could ever want to have, but I coaxed him into doing a pocket check. Now, he's not quite a knife nut just yet. Give it not time, yet. guys, give it <laughs> <Not> time. <yet. laughs> but I thought it would be really cool to break down so you guys can see like what another genuine, like real Alaskan carries every day because you know, we live in a pretty wild environment, but you know, we're Definitely. still like normal humans, you know? So <laughs> anyways, I'm gonna let him take it away. I'm gonna be holding my mic close to him so that you know you guys can hear him as he breaks down whatever he has on him oh so uh so yeah so pretty much when it comes to being out here in alaska especially like i have i have multiple use there's days where i want to go to the park or something or you know i want to take on a hike i i have a variety of things that i will carry on me um it, it all depends so me, for example, like if I'm going to like a Holiday Inn, Walmart or something, here in Alaska especially, you know, when you carry and stuff, um, I tend to have the, so pretty much the Glock 43X um, is super small, concealable, um, doesn't really print as much. I love the so, optics cut on that. Thing, oh, yeah. Too, you, it's you, like <laughs> begging for an optic. <laughs> no, optic will come soon. No, an optic <laughs> will come soon on this. Um, but so far, this is... It's it's pretty much my sweater gun. I could say like my mailbox gun. I go I go out anywhere and stuff like that. This is either on me or inside the glove compartment wherever I'm going out somewhere. Totally. Um, but yeah, this is this is my carry. This is what I, I I pretty much daily carry almost everywhere where I go. And do you mind? I'm gonna do like a close yeah, of course. here. And what I really like about it is this like really awesome stipple job. Like I th I shot this gun uh, from like you had it. I shot it um, before you got the stipple job. And dude, this thing is just like miles of traction. Like I Much love on it that freaking stipple job on there. So really freaking cool. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Uh, my viewers always are like, do close ups whenever I do like videos oh, on the back. Nice right? They're like, they want to see it closer <laughs> up, which is fair. But yeah, no, really freaking awesome job on the stippling. And I think that adds like a ton of traction, oh, which is much cool. better. Especially like, so me, for example, I have this issue where my hands very sweaty. Mm -hmm. So that's one of the biggest problems. It's just natural. Um, even being in the military, I always had that problem um, where it's like my hands were just soaked. Um, it, it's been happening since I was little. So when it comes to my handguns, I, I try my best. I look forward to having, you know, a good grip on it. And I usually get a uh, stipple job on almost all of my guns. Um, whenever I see that my hands are <laughs> getting slippery whenever I'm holding, you know, totally. so, it, it, you know, when it comes, when it, when it comes to this and having the stripper job done on it, it's just, it's, it fits me perfect, man. I That's love awesome. it. So, yeah, I really have to say, I love how far they've come with the 43 X. Cause I said like the originals didn't yes, have the optics didn't cut. Have the optic cut. I don't even think they had the forward side serrations. No, so no. like <sighs> this, like this model, which is more gen five S mm -hmm. is really freaking it's set up. Like, honestly, like I have a Glock 19 on right now, but like, honestly, that, could probably at least go toe to toe with the Glock 19, with the Glock especially 19. with those Shield 15 round mags. Oh, uh, yes. Like literally, you have a Glock 19 at that time, yeah. but like <laughs> way slimmer, way easier to carry. Like you said, like a sweater gun. It's like a sweater gun, man. It, it's, so. it's 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 something that you know, especially if you're going out, let's say for the number of the movies or something. Nobody notices you have this thing on you, man. Oh, yeah. So that and that's one thing. It's like you, you know when you conceal and stuff, especially out in public. That's one thing that you got to think about. Is all right, you know the, how badly does a print? I don't want. That's one right. thing that you don't want. You don't want. You don't want people to know that you're carrying exactly. in case of an instance, you know, like I said, I have to shoot her or something, <laughs> right, you know, right. like totally. you, you don't want them to know that you have that. <laughs> You'll be the main target afterwards, yes. you know? So this totally is something true. that, you know, it's just, it, even my wife, like there's sometimes she goes inside the safe mm -hmm. and she goes, Hey, do you have the 43 X? <laughs> and I'm like, ah, yes, babe. And then, you know, she'll go through and throw it in her purse and stuff. Love that. I'm, I'm trying to get her to, you know, actually have a, a, a you know, a Kydex holster and something mm -hmm. that she can use. She hates using Kydex holsters. She's not a big fan of it yet. Right. She's always telling me that I'm going to shoot my, you know, every, right. <laughs> she's always, totally. which it is true. Like, it don't get me, pointed there. Yeah, it is pointed there. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, I'm, I, I, I recently, this wasn't, in, it, 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 I just recently, what I used to do was, you know, the T-Rex holsters. Yeah. Um, the, the one that I use, uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I had that same exact one. Yeah. And it will fit so perfectly under like my sweater and everything that oh. I will daily carry that. Dang. And it was it was concealable. It, it wasn't you know cool. because I was just so scared of like shooting. Right. You know like. No, I totally and, understand. But then now I'm I'm getting used to it now. You know it's it. I, I try my best to like move it over. You know right. so I don't shoot my crotch or anything like that. <laughs> you know but yeah, that that's one thing. My wife always telling me you gotta shoot your. <laughs> No, I totally understand that. That's <laughs> but yeah, <fair>. man. <laughs> well, cool. Is there anything else you got? I know you got 
keys to a really badass vehicle. Uh, oh, yeah. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Um, at least for some people, I know the, yeah. the Gladiator isn't everyone's. It's not everybody's cup of tea, cup of tea man. Yeah. But you got she hasn't that. done me wrong yet, man. It's been I had it for about two to three years now, I think, That's and crazy. haven't had no issues whatsoever yet. Right. Knock on wood, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> totally. <laughs> but other than that, no, yeah. In, in terms of the vehicle, um, let's say for example, like when I go hiking, right? Um, I usually have either a forty-five with me or a ten mil every mm -hmm. time because. You know, bear, we're bear country pretty much, so yeah, pretty much <laughs> we got to watch out for the wildlife out here. So that's that's one thing. Oh, even uh, the Desert Eagle, man. Hell yeah. Even that, even that. I sometimes, oh, man, there's multiple times when we went down to, uh, I forgot, what, I don't know. No, it wasn't Eagle Park. Um, but, yeah, man, I took my friend out, and I had, I had the Eagle with me that Hell time, yeah. dude. And it's like, <laughs> you know, he, he was like, don't you think there's a bit of a powerhouse? And I'm like. Yeah, not in this side of town. Exactly. <laughs> in <this> side of town. <laughs> so when it comes, you know, when it comes to those things, I usually either I have a PCC on me um, that I uh, an, inside a backpack that I'll hike mm -hmm. with. Um, the Chris Vector, um, oh, the Chris yeah. Vector in ten mil. I usually have that, or uh, the forty five, the FNX forty five. Mm -hmm. um, I usually have that on me. But other than that, when I'm out in the public, you know, if I'm out in Walmart stuff like that or anything like that, mm -hmm. this is this is what That's I carry with me. Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Well, we're definitely going to get you converted into knives. Um, <laughs> yeah. We're going to start off easy, you know, maybe some budget stuff like this Manix too. It's only $160 oh, to $200. Oh, that's not bad. And what? Like, I know, dude, right? just show me. Yeah, when, you, when I see your collection, dude, I'm like, I know. dude, this man has almost the same amount of knives money that he spends as I spend on a gun. Oh, Pretty much. <laughs> it is. It's hilarious. <laughs> but uh, the viewers love the knives and they love the guns. Um, and I really like, honestly, bringing gun content onto my channel, especially because I feel like as far as EDC goes, like, I once again, I do a good job representing knives, but I feel like a lot of people on YouTube, yep. when it comes to daily carry and stuff, they really don't talk about guns. And I understand part of that's due to our evil overlords. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> but at the same time, too, like, I also don't want to surrender. Like, this is something that makes America and makes us. And, like, this defines us as people. That's so, like, this is what we really have on us. Mm -hmm. So I want to be able to talk about it freely. And so I, I've noticed with a lot of larger EDC yep. content channels, they... Glaze they tend to stray away guns. from it. They and it's tend like, to do that. <laughs> you know, to be honest, like just talk about it because it's like I'd rather get demonetized. I'd rather get content strikes. Even like I'm not going for it, but yeah. I'd rather have that to be able to bring you guys content about what helps keep us free, what helps keep us safe and alive. And once again, like knives are cool and everything, but guns are also really cool. They help keep us alive in sketchy situations. So anyways, thanks for being a part. Thanks for sharing hey. what you carry. Um, and yeah. Hey, thank you for having me, man. And this definitely is not the last time you guys are going to see Python. I'll probably be on his channel as well. Yep. Um, I know I've been like probably featured in like little B-roll yes. yeah. and stuff, but like we'll probably do more uh, like collaborations, like full on EDC stuff so anyways <laughs> as always guys god bless and we're out <laughs> take it easy